Could it be that our universe is only a single chapter in an eternal cosmic story? Recent observations from the James Webb Space Telescope are challenging everything we thought we knew about the cosmos. Astronomers have identified galaxies so strange, so massive, and so unexpectedly mature that they are forcing us to reconsider the very origins of our universe. These discoveries don't merely extend our understanding of the Big Bang. They hinted mysteries we have barely begun to grasp. Among the thinkers grappling with these questions is Sir Roger Penrose, Nobel laureate and one of the greatest minds in cosmology. Penrose has proposed a bold idea, that the universe moves through infinite cycles of death and rebirth. More provocatively, he suggests that traces of a universe that existed before our own may still linger in the cosmic microwave background, whispers of an earlier cosmic chapter hidden in the fabric of space-time. Webb, with its unparalleled infrared vision, has peered deep into regions near the Big Dipper, capturing faint, enigmatic lights that have traveled across space for more than 13 billion years. These signals originate from galaxies that formed just 500 million years after the Big Bang, yet they are already enormous, comparable in size to the Milky Way. According to standard cosmological models, there simply shouldn't have been enough time or matter to assemble such giants. And now, scientists are confronting an uncomfortable question. Have we fundamentally misunderstood how the universe evolved? These colossal ancient galaxies, nicknamed universe breakers by astronomers, defy expectations. Their existence suggests that the early cosmos was more complex, more dynamic, and more surprising than our theory has ever predicted. These mysterious galaxies are more than anomalies. They are cosmic rebels throwing a wrench into the well-oiled machinery of modern cosmology. And the surprises didn't stop there. Webb soon uncovered even more galaxies, each teeming with stars far too massive and bright for their tender age, forming just a few hundred million years after the Big Bang. But Webb's revelations didn't merely challenge our understanding of galaxy formation. They struck at another pillar of cosmology itself, the expansion of the universe. For decades, scientists have relied on the Hubble constant to describe the universe's growth rate. Theory predicts it should be around 67 kilometers per second per megaparsec, yet measurements using supernovae, red giants, gravitational lenses, and pulsating stars consistently produce a faster rate, closer to 73 kilometers per second per megaparsec. Webb's new data only deepens this cosmic discrepancy. Why doesn't theory match reality? Some researchers are considering a radical possibility. Our universe may not be alone. It might be interacting, even colliding, with other universes. What if the blistering inflation that followed the Big Bang wasn't just a random burst of expansion? What if it was triggered by our young universe merging into a larger parent cosmos? New mathematical models exploring this multiverse merging scenario suggest that such interactions could stretch and enlarge the volume of our universe. What we perceive as expansion might, in part, be the interplay of interconnected cosmic domains. Remarkably, when scientists applied this model, the predicted expansion rate aligned far more closely with observations than the standard model ever could. Suddenly, this one speculative idea became a serious candidate for explaining the universe's early behavior. But Webb's discoveries don't stop at cosmic expansion. They are rewriting the story of the early universe itself. To understand this, we must travel back to a time before the first stars ignited, when the cosmos was shrouded in a dense fog of neutral hydrogen. Ultraviolet light could not penetrate these clouds. The universe was silent, dark, and opaque. Then the first stars burst into existence, emitting powerful radiation that ionized the surrounding gas, gradually clearing the fog and lighting up the cosmos in a monumental era known as reionization, which began roughly 300 million years after the Big Bang. In theory, 
the earliest galaxies formed tiny glowing bubbles within this fog, small zones where light could finally escape. Beyond these bubbles, darkness still reigned. At least that was the expectation. Then Webb revealed JDS GSZ 11, sometimes cited as one of the earliest confirmed galaxies, shining brightly just 330 million years after the Big Bang. And it wasn't merely visible, it flooded its surroundings with intense ultraviolet radiation, far more than models predicted for such a nascent era. Its light carries the unmistakable signature of Lyman Alpha emission, the telltale marker of energized hydrogen, signaling that the universe was awakening far earlier and more dramatically than anticipated. This wasn't supposed to happen so soon. And now scientists are left grappling with a profound question. Did galaxies like this play a far larger role in transforming the early universe than we ever imagined? But there it is. And the data reveal an even more staggering fact. This galaxy had carved out a bubble of ionized gas stretching 650,000 light years in every direction. Its ultraviolet light was escaping farther than anyone had thought possible. A cosmic feat that, according to prior models, should have taken much longer to achieve. So, what does this tell us? Either cosmic reionization began earlier than we believed, or it progressed far faster than our models predicted. Could it even hint at a universe that evolves in cycles, as Roger Penrose's theory suggests? At the same time, the discovery opens another tantalizing possibility. Perhaps smaller, less massive galaxies played a more significant role in lighting up the early universe than we ever imagined. And yet the most compelling mystery remains. What powered this galaxy's extraordinary ultraviolet radiation? Was it an unusual population of super-hot, intensely luminous stars? Or could an active supermassive black hole be lurking at its core, fueling this early cosmic beacon? Whatever the answer, one thing is certain. The universe is far stranger and more wondrous than we ever dreamed. The universe isn't playing by the rules we thought we understood. And if more galaxies continue to defy our models, perhaps the problem isn't the data. Perhaps it's our understanding itself. What if the Big Bang wasn't the absolute beginning? What if it were instead a bridge, an explosive handoff from a previous universe into ours? If so, we may be glimpsing the very idea that Sir Roger Penrose, British Nobel Prize winning physicist, has been championing for decades. A universe without a true beginning, cycling eternally through ages of creation, destruction, and renewal. In Penrose's vision, the event we call the Big Bang isn't the birth of everything, but a big bounce. The universe expands, Matter eventually decays into energy, and time marches toward a state of pure, spaceless radiation. And just as expansion can occur, so too can the emergence of a new cosmos. In this strange, timeless cycle, one universe dies, another is born. An eternal rhythm of cosmic rebirth. But Penrose's theory isn't just mathematical speculation. He believes he's already found evidence, tangible fingerprints of a universe that preceded our own. Where, hidden in the cosmic microwave background, the faint afterglow of radiation from roughly 380,000 years after the Big Bang. Within this relic radiation, Penrose and his collaborators identified mysterious circular patterns subtle hotspots standing out against the usual temperature fluctuations of the CMB. He calls them Hawking Points. The idea is extraordinary. At the end of each cosmic era, supermassive black holes slowly evaporate through Hawking radiation, 
releasing energy that doesn't vanish, but is carried forward into the next universe. In the newborn universe, these leftover photons appear as glowing disks in the microwave background, cosmic echoes of black holes that existed before our Big Bang. According to Penrose, these disks should span roughly the size of the full moon, and remarkably, that's what he and his team have found in the data from both the Planck and WMAP satellites. Of course, skepticism remains. Many scientists caution that these circular patterns could be mere statistical anomalies. But Penrose is undeterred. He reminds us that black holes themselves were once dismissed as mathematical curiosities, only to become undeniable realities. Perhaps one day hawking points will follow the same path. Perhaps we are already glimpsing the evidence of an eternal cosmic cycle quietly written across the sky. As we step back from these revelations, one truth becomes impossible to ignore. The universe is far stranger, larger, and more mysterious than we ever imagined. Each galaxy web uncovers, each ancient photon Penrose interprets, is a reminder that our cosmic story is still being written, and that the chapters yet to come may challenge everything we think we know. Perhaps the universe has no beginning and no end. Perhaps what we call the Big Bang was simply one act in an eternal cosmic dance. A cycle of death and rebirth stretching across unfathomable time. Or perhaps these discoveries are only the first glimpses of a multiverse, interconnected and alive in ways we are only beginning to comprehend. What we do know is this. Every new observation from Webb, every anomaly, every universe breaker, brings us closer to understanding the full scale, the full majesty, and the profound mystery of existence itself. And in that mystery lies our greatest inspiration, a call to keep looking, keep questioning, and keep marveling at the cosmos around us. Because in the end, the universe isn't just out there. It is part of us. And through it, we glimpse the story of all existence.